happy St. Patrick's Day if you celebrate. Uh, yet again, I am horrendous at scheduling my streams. The last stream was on the Super Bowl. And this stream is on St. Patrick's Day, and it's the day before I have two big finals in college. So, I'm a professional streamer, if you can't tell. Um, we'll just hang out for a sec and give people a chance to get here. Uh, I know, I'm pretty sure most streamers, what they do is that they, they start their stream and then they have it on that stream starting soon uh, for a while. But I am a, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm better than all the other streamers. And I just start right away, right on time. I'm a very prompt fella. Uh, all right. So today we'll be playing this game called Felvedic. The developer reached out to me on Twitter to play it. And it looks absolutely astounding. If you saw the trailer before the stream started, uh, it looks really interesting. You can look that up on YouTube. If you're watching the VOD, uh, well, you'll see when we start playing it. But before we get into playing it, I wanted to show something that I thought was really funny and was just kind of a toasty time life update. So I am currently in the process of uh, trying to 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 optimize toasty time. And we'll, we'll put it like that. Try to optimize it with my newfound uh, business mentality through this major. Um, and so I thought it would be ah, it's, it's a smart idea. Get registered for Amazon. Do, get the affiliate links. Right? I was like, oh, that makes sense. That sounds like a good idea. Uh, so so um, I didn't really know what I was doing, but I made a really epic Amazon page. <laughs> and so if, if you want to steal my look and become Femboy Toasty, there you go. Um, I don't really know how this whole thing works, but I thought it was funny, and so I wanted to set it up. Um, and then I'm going through and uh, trying to work out a bunch of other stuff um, to uh, make things interesting and fun uh, on Toasty Time. I'm considering doing a newsletter type deal, but we got a lot of stuff in the works, and so we will figure that out as it happens. Um, it's a very beautiful spring day today, so I'm feeling good. I'm in a good mood. Um, and I'm feeling optimistic about the future. Um, okay, we got a couple more people in here. Awesome. Uh, let's see what else is going on. Oh yeah, I decided this is the only green shirt that I have, and I don't want any of you guys pinch you guys pinching me, so I had to get decked out in it. Uh, yet another genius toasty time marketing strategy. Don't wear your merch. Wear a random green shirt because it's St. Patrick's Day. Oh, pun intended. And this is why. I this is why I am a very successful YouTuber. <laughs> uh, yeah, my girlfriend's doing an eight-hour shift, and I'm live streaming an RPG Maker game. That is the dynamic you need in a relationship. Okay. Well, we'll go ahead and pull up Felvedic here. I hope all my audio is working properly. And this doesn't explode your ears. Hell yeah. Okay, I don't, that doesn't look like it's too loud. All right, we'll get this boom. Boom, locked in, back on the RPG Maker grind. So, uh, Felvedic, how do I describe it? It seems like medieval alcoholic night kind of deal. It looks really interesting and fun, and those are the RPG Maker games that I'm trying to play more of these days. Interesting and fun ones. Um, oh yeah. One other genius bit of scheduling on my part is that because this is the weekend right before finals, right? So I have two big finals tomorrow, smart move on my part. But also, there's 22 hour long quiet hours. Hi sleeper, welcome to the stream. There's 22 hour long quiet hours in the dorms. So technically, if I start screaming or get too loud, they could come over and be like, you little shit, and uh, kick me out of the dorm. But I'm sure they won't. We should be fine. Um, all right, here we go. So v -deck. The this is the demo. It's supposed to be about 20% of the actual game. So we'll see. I'm very excited for it. Um, here we go. I'll stop dilly-dallying. No mouse functionality. I. <laughs> that's how out of whack I am with RPG Maker games. I haven't played it for a while. I'm trying to... <laughs> Let's click on it. Let's click on the mouth. I forgot it's an RPG Maker game. You can't use your mice. Using mice is like... That's modern tech. It's an RPG Maker game. Ooh. No 
God, this game is set in set in Palestine. <laughs> Fuck. No, we can't get into my political rants until there's more viewers here to appreciate it. Okay. That was a very quick and jarring start. Look at this. Is this eight? This is like eight directional. Is this eight directional? Let's see. It seems like this is eight directional movement. It's really smooth. Look at that. Ooh, smooth music. In the distance, the old castle is ablaze. Dear God. I need another drink. In the wardrobe, you discovered a lined cap. Now this is classic RPG Maker here. Nice delay on the explosion. Yeah, for real. Hey, if it's off in the distance, you know, the sound takes a sec to travel. Hey, there we go. We got some people. I've got to get ready to go out. But I just want to say hi. Hope all's good. Sorry to miss this. No worries, Vile Syndicate. Glad you stopped in to say hi. Makes it more real. I agree on the explosion. Yeah, there's always a little delay on those. Clearly, this guy's lived through his uh, fair share of war zones. Developer lore? I'd be interested to hear it. Um, let's see. Can I just do a tactical optimize? Get naked? I wonder if there's any social consequences to being naked. Let's walk around naked for a bit. See, I, developer, I wonder, unless there is some sort of consequence in the game or some sort of thing that happens from being naked, I wonder why you would even offer it as an option. Because you could just individually re-equip things and it wouldn't make really sense to have that there. Oh! What manner of business brought you hither? Joseph, this is a very dapper looking guy. I beheld something wondrous. The old castle ablaze like a torch. Lit like a oh boy. It's one of those games where there's accents and I'm American and I don't I I am incapable of doing those, so <clears throat> Best this is my best bet at a medieval accent. Um oh, I beheld something wondrous, the old cast just fucking New Zealand. Um, um, I, I, be, I'm just gonna not even gonna try. I shouldn't be an entertainer. I need to just go work in the farm fields. That's what us Americans were bred to do. The old castle, its loss won't be mourned since the Hussites ransacked it. Not but ill fortune resides there. Still, go there and see whether some mischievous youth set fire to it. But Pally, by the grace of God, your stench precedes your presence by three yards. Why do you persist in pestering me whilst inebriated? You pestered me, Joseph. I just walked out of the door. What the hell are you talking about? But I just had a hard time falling asleep. Clear as day, I shall believe you not. You carouse for the sake of a woman. Admit it. Oh. Oh, Pavol. Poor guy. The fair maiden broke his heart. But don't worry. Through this journey, we will find a new fair maiden. Speaking of fair maidens. Look at, look at this. Look at... I'm trying to rebrand myself as really cute, lovey wholesome guy in uh because before my my kind of toasty time brand was a uh, anime guy who makes an uh, anime femboy guy i mean that's all well and good but it's not my preferred online persona and so i'm rebranding into guy who loves his girlfriend and so look what my girlfriend made for me it's a mason jar with a bunch of hello kitty stickers on it and a hundred notes with reasons why she loves me uh and then i got my over here i have a massive wall of notes she wrote i won't show up because it's personal but uh there we go. The Toasty Time rebrand is incoming. I think this will attract more sponsors in the future, personally. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm doing it for. I'm nice. <laughs> okay, anyways. Um, Alright, new goal. We gotta find Pavol some love. I mean, with that winning smile, I'm sure it won't be hard for him at all to find, uh, to find some love. Tis true, I cannot cease thinking of her as I did warn ye. I'm vexed to be unmeasured. Lost I am. I know not what to make of it. Gather your wits on... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Anchasa. Anchasa. So what, are you going to drown yourself in sorrow over that? I, too, lost a woman, yet you don't see me drinking dusk till dawn like a Tatar. This is a historic game, and I am American. We do not learn about history in school. The only history we learn is about Americans killing Native Americans. And that is about the extent of my knowledge of history. So anything going on in Europe? Ah. Uh -huh. So, um... We'll just do our best here. Let's try to reimagine this as from an American point of view, okay? So we got the Hussites invading, and we're like the medieval guy. We're like the we're the we're the good guys, right? 
And so we'll just reframe it as the the North versus the South, right? The Confederate versus the Union Army is the Civil War kind of deal. Okay, now my American brain can understand what's going on. So we are Union officers. All right, now I can follow. And um, I have lost my maiden to dysentery. <laughs> I did not care for any. I did what? Listen here, you numbskull. Go seek counsel from Matej right away. Matej, the monk who too recently reached our midst. Yes, him. He will put you right with those endless prayers of his or whatever. What use are you to me in such wretched state? Not even holy water can aid you. I am at my wit's end. Joseph, I literally walked out of my door and I'm like, hey, I'm gonna go like check this thing out and like solve the fix, save the day. And you were just getting on my ass about it. I'm trying to I'm trying to do good here. I'm trying to change the world. And you're just being a dick. I don't appreciate it. Here, take this fig. Oh, thanks. Dear God, what sweetness. But come play something with me first. There's square cards have arrived, also from Pest. You have to flip two at a time, and if you match them, you take them. It's merriment itself, Pixesso is called. This is this dialogue is tough to follow. Like I'm I'm all for historical accuracy, and I think it's really interesting stuff. It's a lot of fun. But uh you, you gotta make your game more idiot friendly. <laughs> and my professional uh, RPG Maker Pro opinion. Nay, lend me peace, I shall seek solace with your saint. But tell me this, where might I f fin with he Okay, I'm, all I'm saying is, I love historical, I, I love historical games. I, I love history. Uh, I might not know a lot about history, but I think it's interesting and it's cool to learn about. Um, and I especially love history and RPG settings. It's a lot of fun to explore medieval time periods. Um, but when the game is written like this, it is not as accessible. And it is quite difficult to uh, keep up with. Pixesso is match two. Okay, so is this a different language? I assume this is a different language. What language is this, if you know? Verdun. Uh... Anyways, we'll move on. I'm just saying, you might get more players if you just maybe make it slightly more digestible English. Uh, but that's up to you. That depends on the audience you're shooting for. Why might I find Matej? Clearly, you don't frequent the confessional. In the chapel at the end of the hallway, just go right. But, ooh, Pavol is not a very good... Uh, what religion do they follow here? Protestant? We'll go with Protestant. How dost I journey to yon old castle? Where are you rushing off to? First, go pay respect to Matej. Bye-bye. Slovak and Hungarian, time to time. Interesting. Oh, yeah, I think I, I think I remember that. Whoa, whoa, what is going on here? Okay, wow. You're my favorite YouTuber, Ugo. Oh, thanks, Real Tron. I really appreciate you being here. Look at these really epic... Look at this. This is called Epic RPG Maker programming right here. I don't, oh, my God. Wow, that's gorgeous. But look at the map. Like, this is really beautiful. Although I will say the characters kind of blend into the background. It's a little hard to, to notice them as you walk by. Um, I, would, I would probably advocate for a little something to make them stand out more. Um, but it's a really unique graphical style. It's very, very pretty. Okay, I can see. So, this is where our guy is in the chapel. Sorry, bro. I gotta come to church more. I know. I'm sorry. Praise be Jesus Christ, ye art the sanctimonious one. Praise be, brother, why dost thou disturb my contemplation? I feel like we're really just getting thrown right into it here in this game. Like, it had a cool opening cinematic, and then we're just out the door immediately getting scolded for our alcoholism and shit. Like, that's kind of nice getting right into the action, but also I feel a little bit thrown off the deep end here. Alright. The Lord sent me hither, I'm in need of something. I wonder, as if bereft of soul, my lady hath forsaken me. Oh. Poor guy. He's gonna start uh, listening to Doomer music and watching radicalized red pill YouTubers. Or at least he would if he was in modern day. So thank God he's in medieval times and all that happens is he becomes an alcoholic. Like, it could be a lot worse. <laughs> Brother, great misfortune hath befallen thee. But remember, tis written, He healeth the broken in heart and bindeth up their wounds. Relinquish thy sorrow and give thy soul unto the Lord. Let go of spirits, for thou hast had thy fill by reason of the odor. Ten times recite the Lord's prayer. May the Lord be with thee. He healeth the broken in heart. So, all right. Ha, huh, I thank you kindly for relieving me of sadness over my wife so swiftly. Oh, he's good now. All right. Sweet. If only I know that a simple prayer would suffice. Clearly in your celibacy, you know not of trials that accompany wedlock. Listen, brother, come search the old castle with me. Something seems to be a flame, a fire. <laughs> Pray and leave me be. 
Pavel is good now. I mean, look at that winning smile. He feels so much better already. He just needed a quick little prayer and, and oh, oh, I'm good now. See, if I was a if I was a good Christian boy, that's how it would be for me. You know, sadness would only last um, up until my next confessional, and then the Lord would forgive me. <laughs> if only life were that simple. Listen, brother, come search the little castle with me. Hast thou lost your mind? <laughs> he goes to the... <laughs> Go up to the priest to talk about your relationship troubles and then say, hey, by the way, you know what would really help me get over this girl? If we went and killed some Hussites. Like, see, this was the good old days when all your problems could be solved by just a little bit of murder and some prayer. Like, nowadays, you know, we can't kill people. It's illegal. And we have all of this, we have all this doomer wave and all this uh, red pill misogyny incel stuff. And we got to go through that whole stuff to get over our heartbreak. We got to go through that whole phase. And then people don't like us. And then we get canceled on the internet. And it's a whole thing. And it carries you throughout life. When back in the medieval ages, you could take a week off and just go kill people and get really drunk and say some prayers and you're good. You know, good old days. It was way simpler back then. Oh, I also just realized my head is covering the text. I gotta, I'm gonna make my head a little smaller. There we go. Wait a second. Wait, 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 whoop, wait, whoop. There we go. Wait, we can't kill people? I know, uh, it's just... Someone, hey, one of you viewers invent the time machine and then we can all go back to the, to the days where it was easier to get over heartbreak. Because you could always just go to the next town over and find some 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 lass who doesn't know any better and just and just just take her pretty much. Nowadays we got to go through this whole annoying thing of like getting to know someone and like <laughs> getting close emotionally and taking care of them and fulfilling their their needs emotionally and physically. And we got to do all this stuff and it's so hard and it's so fucking worth it. It's so worth it. So. Maybe it was easier to find a girl in the past, but Jesus, if you work, if you, if you get lucky today, you can find some real quality ones. Have heart and faith and stick with it. All right. Um, I'm currently illuminating the book of Lamentations of St. Mark over the Israelites. Lead me be with the fire. Any servant may accompany thee thither. Nay, so commanded the Lord of the land, ye must go, and that's final, to ensure the salvation of my weary soul. <laughs> hey, you want me to feel better? Come with me. Let's kill, let's kill some Hussites. <laughs> that's a good strategy, Pavel. <laughs> you want a priest to do something? God has commanded you to do this thing. God has commanded you to give me all of the church donations. <laughs> I was sitting here by Archbishop get, 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 uh, someone of the Gat Guy for addition of a local priest, not for the treatment of local alcoholics. Treat my grievance known to the Lord of the land. Oh, he's angry. He is not very pleased with that. Oh, he's back. Well, what did he say? The vex me to abandon my illumination. What is God's to God and the Lord's to the Lord of my brother? If I behold me partaking of the cup, all shall be duly inscribed in this book, and I shall logically complain it with the Lord of the land. Doc. So he's coming with me. Nice. We got a monk. He'll be good at un unarmed combat. Let's see if the monk does. A monk also do funny stuff. Look at this. This is so goofy. I love this spot. I I wonder if the monk can cast some like spell to to cure us of our clearly possessed uh, qualities when we walk along the wall there. I can't get over how cool this interior looks. Like, I really like how it's stacked and layered and the perspectives are. It looks like a painting. It's very, very nice. The midday meal hath passed. If thou art hungry, thou must fend for thyself. God damn it. So, what, although, by, wait, by the way, I've been doing all of this conversation naked and no one has said a single thing yet. I am very unhappy about that. I would like to be told, oh, what the hell? Why are you naked? Ooh, sour cream. Nice. I walk like that. I'm cursed, though. See? You just gotta go to your local priest and he'll fix you up. What? Look how cool that is. Oh, I love that perspective. No, the grab. Oh, it looks so nice. This thing is being baked in the oven. It smells pleasant. Uh, ooh. Ooh, I love stealing wine. Um, so how do I get into the oven? Oh, wait, that's what would be upstairs? Is that how that works? quite remember how the medieval nope this is not uh, an oven but it was locked okay that's so fucking cool look at these graphics guys see this kind of perspective stuff needs to be done in more rpg maker games it really gives a lot of depth and immersion to the house you know instead of it just being a flat 
instead of it just being like a flat floor with a bunch of with square walls around it you know there's like layered walls or stairs leading upwards and there's a basement floor i know it's a little bit easier to do back when it was a uh, maybe medieval times and building design was a little bit more uh you know up to the discretion of the builders and in modern times it's a bit more um standardized um but it's so cool uh, like if you're doing a medieval rpg like do some st interesting stuff like this it's awesome so much effort if the menus are so standard i blame the engine though they really need to implement more customization yeah i agree i mean i don't really have a problem with these standard menus like um i'm pretty sure fear and hunger also has pretty standard menus and that game has incredible amounts of effort and it's very successful like i don't think you necessarily need a super fluffed up sorry i'm pretty sure I, let's start over this train of thoughts so i can get this better cut into a youtube short um so much effort yet the menus are so standard i blame the engine though yeah i mean i agree it's like the graphics are really in depth and it's kind of just a standard rpg maker menu but also it gets the job done really efficiently and i don't think you need a lot of like fluffed up menu screens to necessarily get done what needs to get done you know it's kind of cool to have an extra like layer of things to look at but if you can just open up a box and get what you need done in three clicks and get back to playing then that honestly is a better menu screen than one that looks prettier in my opinion uh, like I'm pretty sure Fear and Hunger, very successful RPG Maker game with a lot of depth, also just has this. You pop in, boom, boom, a couple clicks, you're done, and you're back to playing. Like, I don't really see anything wrong with that. I think that's pretty fine. Why is there so much sour cream? Is this historically accurate? Were there just barrels of sour cream back in medieval times? Oh. Oh, who's this fella? How do I make my way out of the castle? Simply through the gate, or hence through this secret passageway. Ooh. Secret what? What? Secret. Uh-uh. I believe that there is a secret passageway. I just gotta go hunting a little bit more. Let me see. Pixels there are a little bit different. Oh. Also, by the way, see what I was see what I'm saying? About uh look, see the light. The light filters into the wall right like this. You'd think that the secret passageway would be right there. But anyways, do you see what I'm saying about the characters kind of blending into the background? Like, especially on the stream and on YouTube with, like, it, it has some compression issues. Like, there's a guy here. I don't know if you guys are able to see. Like, it's kind of, he's kind of blends in. And my, my teammate, too, kind of blends into the ground. Like... I don't know. I just think a little bit of a little bit of something to distinguish the, the foreground from the background would be helpful. Do a lip review. Whose whose lips? My lip? What? A lip review? Uh. Here, I don't know. Let's do a closer inspection. Like, cut the hair on your face? No, my girlfriend likes it. Sorry, bro. I'm actually gonna grow it into a bigger beard. So, uh. Oh, but if you donate five hundred dollars, I'll, I'll, uh, no, I'm just kidding. I, what am I talking about? I'm gonna leave the hair. My girlfriend likes it. That's what matters most. Uh, lip review. Good enough to kiss you if you donate. Nah, eh, 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 eh. See, now that is good marketing from a marketing major. What the hell am I talking about? All right, let's get out of here. Secret passageway. Do I like flick the candle or something? Maybe it's up on the wall here. Look, why would there be so many things that I can interact? Why would I be able to interact with the wall if there was a secret passageway? Hmm, we'll leave for now and come back. Ooh, there's a new sprite for running? Holy shit, I run fast. Wow. How can you move that fast in that armor? Actually, I remember a video that medieval armor actually wasn't at, didn't actually hinder your movement as much as it, you know, you would think it does, or like video games make it out to be. Sweet, it looks cool. Whoa. Wow. Look at this guy. He completely, like, blends into the background. Like, seriously, just, just like, a little black border on your characters or something, in my opinion. Wow, the background is really pretty. Ah, oh, indeed, I would partake of a little wine. Hast thou not even a drop? Enjoy it heartily. A thousand thanks. I might ever pay thee. Would thou like some coins or perhaps this key I could give thee? Please give me the key. Thank you very much. All right, so we just engaged in a bit of bribery. That was a default RPG Maker sound effect. I mean, it's a good sounding one. Um, but uh, it makes me hurt as an avid RPG Maker gamer. 
it's just like it takes like two seconds go on YouTube download a custom sound sound effect don't do that it, you're not allowed to uh, get a custom sound effect put in your game three seconds and you have a little bit more unique game sound effects are really important by the way I would really like to see some footsteps sound effects maybe some like candles crackling or like um, I, I don't know like when you walk on the carpet it makes a different sound or you go in here there's like a little like, church bell or, or some I don't know just something like sound effects are what really bring you into a world and there is a distinct lack of sound effects in this game I mean, for how in depth and um, I mean for how much the graphics really get you invested and how much depth is put into them there's a real lack of sound effects and that is what's really pulling me out of the game world like even if you're using RTP and you use sound effects it gets me very immersed um, and I feel like this game is definitely lacking from sound effects at the moment and I would recommend adding some more I found 30 crowns nice find the right sound effects a pain in the ass but worth the effort definitely agree like it, it might take a bit of work but um, sound effects just make such a big difference in your game especially when you're making a trailer like when you're making a trailer for your game you you need like, I'm, like look at me right now if you're, if you're trying to promote your game and do marketing and all that sound effects in your trailer sound effects in your trailer I can't stress enough how freaking important sound effects are. That is what really gets people locked into your game and invested in, like, like when you're watching a trailer. If it's just music, eventually it melds into your ears and you just kind of slowly start tuning it out. If there's sound effects, it's like, whoa, there's like a, there's a beat happening, a transition. It's like things are, it's a, it's a real world. You get invested in it. So I'm a huge advocate for sound effects. Really, really important. Locked. Okay, so I, oh, here we go. It's just, I, I don't know, it's just, maybe it's just me? I don't know, what do you guys think about the graphics? Like, I think this is gorgeous, and it's very unique looking, too. But it also feels kind of like a medieval painting. So that's really drawing me into the setting also. I really like it. That's taking me out of the setting. I really don't like the default sound effects. If you meet any Hussites, drive them away. They murdered my godfather. We'll show them for you and your godfather. Oh, Pavel, what a, what a knight. A knight in no armor at all. Currently, it would seem like being naked has no impact on the gameplay, so I question why do we have this option? Anyways, why is there a damsel just hanging out in the armory? Are you guys, are you guys doing stuff while nobody's looking? Had I not known that you fought alongside a honey 80 against the Turcos at Kosovo, it would not endure your presence for a moment. What a dick. I'm a cool guy. Look at my winning smile. Why do you pry into me? Do you need help? You stink like a polecat. My ice stink. Go away. <laughs> you shall receive a beating. Yeah. We'll fight outside. You stink up the place enough. Alright. I'm gonna kick your ass naked. Then you'll really regret messing with me. Alright, let's see. Faints. Alright. We are beating up the armorer. I need to add a get naked feature to my game. Yeah, it's, it's pressing priority for game devs everywhere. Hey, you know, if you're doing a uh, hentai RPG maker game, you should do that. Those, hey, those make tons of money. Alright, we'll beat up the- Ooh! Oh, oh, we missed. Nice. Oh, that hurt it. Oh, look, because it's gray, look, because that- number is gray it makes me think that i can't use it but that's because you have the tools icon is gray so it, it it makes it look like oh okay it's gray i can't use this skill but i actually can i am not a big fan of that um i would recommend making it like blue or some color that stands out like you see what i'm talking about this seven blends in and it looks like i can't use it but it's actually just this color here all right eh. have it be a color that stands out and then when you can't use it anymore then make it gray like i'm just conditioned as a gamer to kind of assume I can't do something if it's grayed out. I am slightly regretting not wearing armor, but I'm sure it's fine. Look, it's a 2v1. We can't possibly lose. Look at these animations. Those are sweet. Oh, that was a good death sound effect. Hell yeah. Okay. There we go. So they have the default door sound effect, but they have a really cool death sound effect. All right, kind of evens out. Nice, not bad. 
Stop, I heal. I'll sell you armor and weapons from the castle army. Just not, just be vexed, not be. Very well, what can you sell? Um, nothing I can afford, that's for sure. Okay, now how do I, I need food. Oh, oh my god, finally an RPG Maker game where I can save from the menu. Every RPG Maker game these days, including mine that I made, makes you go to some, you gotta go to some specific point to save, especially when set in medieval times, like how you gotta go to the Holy Fountain to save. Just let me save from the menu. Like, I regret making that in my game, the fucking save bear. Just save from the menu. It's so chill. I love saving from the menu. Maybe I'm just old and tired now. This is what happens when you turn 19, almost 20, actually. Great artist. Imagine if you teamed up with someone to do various other stuff like the sound effects and UI. In my opinion, it bothers me. I can't help it. Yeah, I mean, I get being bothered by the default RPG Maker menus. It's fair enough. But yeah, definitely need someone to just, just, put, just put a little more sound effects into your game. I think it'll really elevate it. Now, how do I... Order? Oh, I don't need that. Equipment. Wait, no. Inventory. Here we go. Healing? Sweet. Plus one tools. Sour cream removes all ailments. Okay. Um, I guess I'll just put some clothes on. Why not? <coughs> yoki yoki. The armorer is, uh, scarred now. Serves him right for questioning my life choices, which was very valid of him, actually, but serves him right. This is America. People can be alcoholics if they want to. Oh, wait, it's it's not set in America. I forgot. Not everywhere has freedom of speech. America's the best country on Earth! I'm a very patriotic streamer. Can I just steal some armor? Like, I was stealing shit earlier. Why can't I just steal armor and then kill this guy in the damsel? Who's gonna stop me? Anyways, off we go. Hast thou heard? Someone is pilfering wine within the castle. Yeah, who the, the fuck? Who could have done... It is literally just me, that Joseph guy, and this priest in the castle. Oh, and the one girl and the one guard. Your list of suspects is very small. I feel like you could probably figure out who is stealing the wine. I love video game logic. Oh. <gasps> Oh my god. Oh my do you guys see this? Do got, got do you oh my god. This is important. Holy shit. This might be the end of the game. Do you see this? Look at this. This is a clipping error. Hey, feels I feels icy man. Welcome to the stream. What's up, Tosi? I not much. It's a nice spring day and I'm just chilling playing an RPG maker game. It's pretty good. I look at this clipping error. Oh my god. Worst RPG Maker game ever. Cancelled. Done. You're, it's all over. Your RPG Maker career has ended. I'm just kidding. It doesn't really matter. But, uh, probably look at that and get that fixed. By the way, this game is releasing in two weeks. So, uh, he's got two weeks to figure stuff out. Did I clip that right? Is this. Uh, whatever. Close enough. Two weeks, Elvedic on Steam. So far, it's pretty cool, and I like the combat animations. 15 crowns. Nice. Free money. What's in here? More people I can kill? Is another monk? A herbalist. When you pray at the altar, that... Are you shitting me? I just healed. Feels icy, man. It... Thank you so much for becoming a member. Wow. <sighs> Fuck, that is really loud. Um. Hey, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, you should get some really uh, epic emotes now. What is it? You get Toasty Pog. There you go. I showed it in chat. Boom. Very epic emote. Um, let's see. And the other benefits of being a member, you should now get uh, access to my entire unlisted library, which has some very cringe videos in there. Uh, please enjoy. <laughs> Your vids helped me a lot making our first game. Thanks to you. Hey, thank you. I'm really, I'm really happy to hear that, and I appreciate it. I'm, thank you so much for being an alpha crouton. Thank you. I hope you stick around and enjoy the, enjoy the rest of the stream. And you have a very nice day. I used to put up sticky notes with people's names on them when they buy things, but uh, I am currently in the dorm and my setup is not fully uh, fully together. But uh, 
after this next spring term of college, so around June, my living situation will be changing, and I think you all will very much enjoy the change in the new setting, and I'm very excited for it. So, uh, stick in there. Toasty time. We're, we're hanging in there now through the rest of this school year. After this school year, oh my god, it's gonna pick up like crazy. Oh, and I'm also making a commitment to myself. I'm going to stream at least once a month. Uh, so, hopefully your $1 membership makes it, like, up reasonable with one month stream at least. I'll try to do two a month. We'll see. I'm gonna... I'm figuring out my content strategy. But anyways, thank you for being a member. Let's get back to this epic game here. Um, try for thyself and our chef leaving the village church if you wish. See, this is my problem with freaking RPGs. I get a consumable. I use the consumable. One second later, hey, you can heal now. For some reason, I'm remembering that that was in a space funeral. And like, that game was awesome. I love that game. And I still remember that fucking part where I healed and then immediately found a healing fountain afterwards. Like, I, that's just frustrating when RPGs do that. I'm the herbalist. I ate folk beneath. I gather herbs for the sick and such. Will you aid me if I was in need? I tell thee, when something troubles thee, go pray at the altar. Oh, thanks. We just begged for some herbs. Sweet. Okay. Uh, I guess let's go pray at the altar in the castle and see what happens. I wonder if it heals the tools also. Uh, ooh, that was a bit of a stuttery transition. <laughs> That was a goofy sound effect, <laughs> but okay, at least there was one. Okay, great, so I just completely wasted my alcohol. God damn it. It didn't even apply like a drunk stat or anything. Like normally in games, like drinking alcohol maybe heals you or gives you some sort of buff, but also applies a drunk stat. So like, that's kind of weird. Um, well, it's a little bit janky running around out here. I wonder why that is. Is there like a bunch of parallel processes? What's going on? Look at that, that's kind of janky. Um, anyways, like, I'm wondering what the moral of the story is here in this game. Like, our guy is an alcoholic. Uh, are we trying to have him recover from being an alcoholic? Or is the game storyline that alcoholism is based in Epic? Either way, it's a very valid storyline, but you gotta stick with one. So, like, I'm thinking of Disco Elysium, right? Starts out, oh, you're super fucked up, you fucked everything up because he's an alcoholic. You're trying to get him off, but the game really pushed you in that direction. This game, it's like, you idiot, you're, you're an alcoholic. But then there's not... So far, it seems like a negative to alcohol consumption. We shall see. Imagine a drunk running animation. Oh my god, please. Wait, developer. I don't know exactly how you'd implement that in RPG Maker. But that would be so cool. You drink a drink and your guy suddenly when you're when you're running, instead of instead of being like <laughs> instead of that, he like That'd be really funny. I just, I would really enjoy that. It'd make me really happy. Um, pretty please. I really, like, I love it when, when indie developers do stupid shit like that. Like, it's stupid little, like, details like that that make games, indie games, really creative and fun and stand out from AAA. And it's why I really love playing them, to see, like, little creative spells like that. It's fun. So, developer, add that to your game. I'd love to see that. Um, you already have an amazing, like, marketing hook already, developer. Like, the, the graphics are astounding, and you have some really pretty cinematics, too, from your trailer. So, just polish up a couple of things. Maybe add a drunk running animation. Definitely add sound effects. Um, and pretty strong game so far. Look at that. Did you guys notice? Look, when you run, he gets further behind you. That's a cool little touch. It's probably because the uh, sprites are bigger when they're running. But that looks pretty sweet. And it makes it feel like you're running faster. Like it makes it, like it adds weight to your running faster. Like not only are you actually moving faster, but it looks like it too. Fought with your party member falling. That's a good little touch. I like that. It's nice. Anything I can steal from this guy? Someone, someone left. Hmm. Someone left something in the wardrobe that I stole. I wonder who it could be. Shh. Don't tell anyone. Okay, I'm literally just stealing right next to this guy. Hell yeah. Classic RPGs. Gotta love them. Can I jump down the well? Uh, sure. God damn it. <laughs> Wait a minute. Can I just keep throwing coins in the well? <laughs> just never get anything? Wait a minute. I have to do this now. This is important. I will eventually get something. Ooh! Ooh! Oh! See? I knew it. Who tosses coins, knave? Thou shalt meet thy fate if thy continues with thy antics. Hail. What dost thee do below? I have dwelled here since the mist of antiquity. Now leave me be. Hold, hold. 
How dost ye live there? Who art ye? I'm a water sprite. I gather souls and drink them like wine. If thou dost not wish for me to drink thy soul as well, depart. I will be casting more coins in the well. Don't you worry. See? This is what I was just talking about. This is why I love RPG Maker games. Look at that. Like, it's fun little hidden things like that that make it so... They make it so freaking enjoyable to play RPG Maker games. I love it. All right, let's keep let's keep casting coins. Hath water washed away your wits? Listen, come forth, or else I shall toss a p petard yonder. What's a petard? Like, it's really cool. I like, like I said earlier, I like the old English. It adds a depth, a layer of immersion, but it also kind of makes it harder to engage with the content. So, a developer, just kind of maybe weigh your accessibility options there. But maybe you could make a mode, like include old English or don't. Or you could do like a survey and you could survey um, potential players. Like you have a pretty large following on Twitter. Like survey them maybe. I don't know. I'm sure it'd probably come out as like, yes, we like this more. Like I'm, you're probably going to attract more history enthusiasts with this game. I don't know. It's just interesting. Anyways. Hear me, you scoundrel. I swam beneath the surface. All right, more coins. Huh? What? Why can't I throw more coins? I shall route him out in some manner. Okay. Petard is an explosive. Okay. So we gotta get an explosive to throw in there, or do I go back in here and I go down, and this is the secret passageway that the guy was talking about. It seems like the well would be connected around here somewhere, right? Secret passageway. Hmm. Like, see what I'm saying? If the light follows this way. Yes! Oh my god, please add an option to piss in the well. I feel like every... Katana Zero Piss Theory. Last game, it was yellow and it looked like piss. This game, piss down the well. Every game I've been playing recently seems to have piss in, in it. Am I developing a piss kink? What am I talking about? Um... <laughs> Your girlfriend, don't tell him anything. She's at work right now, I'm safe. Look, even like, even like the... The graphics here look a little bit like piss. The sprite would be satisfied and you'd get a reward. The sprite would be satisfied? Oh boy, the sprite is a piss kink too? Oh boy. I love RPG. I love indie games. I just, I love video. I love, I'm so happy. I love Spring Weather. There was a toolkit in the hay wagon. You know what's surprising? There were more viewers here when it was the Super Bowl than St. Patrick's Day. See, what I'm actually doing is I'm gathering demographic information. This means that more of my viewers are Irish. I like this little plant. Just kind of flowing there. Just a cool little addition. Sweet. The Hussites should not beset our castle. Yet they thought that in Kapussy? Oh, I didn't say that. Yeah, look at them now. Tools cannot be replenished during battle. Therefore, be careful to always be prepared. Oh, cool. Thanks for the combat tip. What is it? What am I looking at? Is this like a mountain or is this rocks? The graphics are cool, but it's kind of hard to accurately distinguish all that is I'm looking at on screen. Thou art an honored visitor, Pally, but thou shalt not pass. Okay, I'm gonna bribe him. So be it. With hell no soul, it was I who let thee in here. Sweet, I love bribery. Steel helmet, nice. Silver ring. Why am I an honored guest, by the way? I am just a drunk who... Well, I guess I'm a guard, but... Wait, I'm a guard. They should let me in here. What the hell? Okay, equipment. Steel helmet. Nice. Alright, we're all decked out. Let's get rolling. Let's kill some Hussites. That'll really fix my broken heart. Oh, that house has a heart on it. <laughs> Everything reminds me of her. <laughs> there should be an option to fight the door because of the broken heart. Anyways. Whoa. Is that a... Is this a moat? The graphical style just kind of... It all blends together. That is another collision error. This game is mostly really cool and interesting. There, there are a couple uh, oversights. For the most part, I'm very into it. Definitely wish there was more sound design, though. Alright. Let's kill Hussites. I feel like a NASCAR or something. Look how freaking fast I am. What does she do outside the castle walls? I'm off to seek Ferry. He vanished as if the earth swallowed him whole. Who? What? Okay, I don't care. Let's go. Ooh. Wait, what's... Ooh. Aww. 
Oh, cool world map. Ooh, that is a Hussite. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Murder time. Halt, ye Catholic swines. <sighs> How dare he insult my Irish heritage. Ye shall be murdered, you bastard. What is this? And I demand a donation full for... Give me some fucking... You ba you brethren, lend me thine ears. I thought to admire Huss. I'm very... I, I've heard him speak in Prague. Brother, you should have fought... Afford... Before the... Before wearing... Uh... I'm mad at you, and I'm going to kill you, but we're going to actually kill you first. That was is translated conversation. Oh, hey, that music is pretty epic. All right, let's murder people. Definitely kill the guy with the gun. I feel like a gun will hurt really bad in this uh, time period. Oh, nice. Ooh. Good. Alright. So I bashed that guy, so now I'll, I'll attack this guy. Damn. Once I actually equipped armor, now I'm way stronger. Isn't that fun? See, that is what you should do in video games, is equip armor, and then you'll be better equipped to, uh, win combat. Bah! Who would've thought? Yeah, these attack animations are really fucking cool. Like, it makes it look like it's a first-person game. It's so sick. <sighs> nice. Those guys got destroyed. Alright, now let's run back to the castle and replenish our health for free instead of using, um, any <laughs> consumables ever. This is how it is, isn't it? Playing RPGs. And look how freaking fast we run. Like, this is no worries at all. This is like no detour. Let's go. How is everyone doing today, by the way? I hope you all have spring, nice spring weather where you're at, too. Um, and it's a lovely day out. Maybe that's another reason. Maybe I should only stream on like shitty, sad days. We need more heads. Yeah. Ooh, wait. 100. Uh, still not enough to buy anything from the armor. Alright. Let's go kill some more people so we can get better gear. See? See, that's another nice thing about the medieval period. If you ever wanted anything better, you just had to kill a couple of people, and suddenly, boom, you're up like 10 ranks in the world. Like, it's so much more difficult these days. Like, back then, if you wanted to make a video game, you just got a couple sticks together, and you said, here, this game is called Stick Throw, and if you wanted the fun development of it, you just killed a couple guys. Now we gotta get a whole Kickstarter going, you gotta make a marketing trailer, it's like it's like a whole big thing, you know? It's just, it's just, it's, it's a lot harder nowadays, you know? This is a very pink, purple, desaturated map. Oh! Hey, wait a second. This is my kind of guy. What's going on over here? Hey, old fellow, does he not feel shame prattling around all undressed? Mercy, merry men. While I contemplated in the water, some rascals took my hosen. Ashamed I am to go into the town like this. My lady just bought me a new tire. She will tear me apart when she finds out I lost it already. Good fellow, we shall bring thee something. Just go back to the water so that no honorable old dame may stumble upon thee here. That's sweet. I, I like that. The, the sense of honor and stuff. I really like being kind of transported back into this medieval period. Hey, man, we said go back into the water and you are not listening. I mean, we, I realize we'll probably get pneumonia and die of cold, but, um... Like, come on. What if the dames see you? Oh, hey, we're in the water, too. Okay, this guy's going to die very quickly if we do not get him close. We gotta hurry. Murder time. Get lost. The burgmaster forbid anyone from entering the town. The tavern also closed early because of this. Don't bother going. Good men, I see that you mean well, yet passage I cannot grant. The burgmaster commands that none enter. He fears the Hussites. Oh. These guys are not Hussites. I guess we don't get to kill anyone. Oh, man. Look at that. Okay, you can kind of tell that there's a creek there. I would like it maybe just add a little bit of blue. Just like slightly to the game world. I don't know if you're trying to follow like a specific graphical style. It kind of looks like you're trying to go old PS1 and they didn't have like all of the um, color palette. But this is modern age. You can afford a little blue. Hey, Cosmos, welcome to the stream. Nice to have you. 
I just make assets and sell it whenever I need cash. Basically, same thing. There you go. That's the modern day hustle. The guy used the get naked features. <laughs> yeah, he did, didn't he? See, that's why it's in the games. You can get naked and take a bath in the stream and offend all the dams. But see, that's... See, developer, if I go to the get naked option, I want to be allowed in my games to get to the get naked option and walk around with my dingling out and scare everyone. I should be allowed to do that. As a gamer. Let's head to the tavern for a drink, for the evening's already upon us. Thou shalt not suggest such a thing to me again. Straight away I shall return to my illumination. Alas, go forth alone, or I might have babysit you. Everywhere do the Hussites roam. Hath thou been not taught manners that thou dost not escort a monk? The devil take this drunken buffoon. Well, he's still with me, so... You're still with me, so you're a hypocrite, bro. Don't take me away, I beseech thee. Where will we take ye? Why be ye not taking the book to bind the boot Oh, God. Deep breath. Deep breath. You know how to talk. Who be ye not taking folk away, eh? Folk be vanishing in the realm. Nothing at all, and poof, they be gone. Wait a minute. Isn't this a part of historical lore? What the fuck is that? Um, Hello from Germany. Game looks amazing. Hey, General Banana. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, the game is very, very pretty. Um, Isn't in history, like, uh, people could only beg at the church? That's kind of cool. Also, I just, I feel like, you know what? I just feel like it. I'm going to put myself up here. It's, I'm, I'm getting a little crazy. I'm getting a little crazy. I don't know. It just feels better to be up here. All right. <gasps> chicken! Look at that! Look at the epic chicken animation. Wow, that's how you know the game's high quality. You can afford a chicken animation. All right, let's get drunk. What? Okay, this is not very medieval music, but... All right, we're jamming. Piss head, what? Uh, hell, none knew how to... See, every game that I play is some piss in it. None knew how to ferry a man across. Torzy as well as another man that is I. Hey there, I'm Pally. What are you doing here? Torzy is far. Hath you run aground or what? I just cannot my boat for the tallest mast. I've been far and wide refitting it. Ill f for some reason, I read that as ill-farted. We're going with that. Ill-farted, it turned out. One day, a lightning struck the mast. Somehow or other. Well, um, so he was on a boat and the lightning hit him. Don't worry, guys. I can translate Women and children, if they were dumb. What? Okay, I clearly did not pay enough attention. What is he talking about? If the boat did not burn that much, and I already shouted to them, bidding them to, to patiently wait, for it's not burning. Well, it is burning, but not that much. If they swam somehow and clung to me ang ang angrily, that is not proper spelling. But I told them, well, how else was I to do it? What? I feel like I'm going crazy. What is this guy talking about? God save us, would there be more... Would that there were more like ye at the helm. Yes! We gotta get... What's this? Wilt thou not release me? Shall I... Pisshead is grabbing onto me. Oh, God. He's gonna piss on me. Oh, please don't piss in my mouth, Pisshead. Oh, that would really suck. Please don't. What's this? Wilt thou not release me? Shall I ruffle thee? Will you not put on coin onto me? I will flip it as if it was mine to flip. Um... Yeah, piss said you can have a coin. To regret once will be in vain. What's done cannot be done. Therefore, I say from the beginning, one must make their own closure. By the power of thy coin, I shall perhaps purchase for myself a new wrath one day and be as one. Will you not put a coin onto me? I'll flip it as if it were... Sure, here's another one. Yeah, you know, piss said honestly, just take all my money. Just... In the name of the Lord, pal, you stop t talking to this rascal. And thou, Captain, be gone from my sight forever. What? No! No! His head. I thought giving him money would make him like me more, not push him away. Oh. This is a sad day indeed. I need a drink. Greetings, good fellows. Want me a pint of ale, and as for that fool over yonder, pay him no mind. He's as stubborn as a mule. Perhaps a mug of the church's wine. That might soothe his soul. Good man, from where hast thou come? I'm from Sara, so my wife hath fled from me. Have you seen a beauty with blue eyes? Half an abundance of such here for a brothel. Oh, brothel, brothel. This is now an RPG Maker H game. Let's go to the brothel. I bid thee imagine the priest and the burgmaster have convened on this matter. Yet the people somehow have not driven them away as they, they ought. Oh, goodly ale, friend, chill. Tis akin to our homely brew. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I am slowly losing steam with the medieval dialogue. I would love to have just normal English. Please. For all of the Americans... That will potentially purchase your game. I beg you, developer. Just make it normal English. 
We're not smart enough. Please, get into our disability. The Tez drinks some. Take him to the castle and return swiftly. We shall converse. It's improper to vex a cla. A cla. A cla. Uh, developer? Get on that. Indeed, very well. I shall let the clergyman rest. Wait, what is thou not wish to purchase something of quality? I'm so confused what just happened. Um. Can raise the dead. Hell yeah. All right, there is absolutely zero chance I lose the game now, by the way. I have three revived scrolls, basically. Tell me something of interest. Unless I have nothing. Okay. Okay, bye. Let's see, is there a brothel up here? My wife left me, and I'm very sad. Uh, sure. Oh, it's free to sleep in the inn? Nice. Disability option, regular English. Twitter would love that. <laughs> Please, yeah. Any new gossip? Any new gossip? Did they say gossip back in the medieval ages? Well, I don't know. I think the game just put in some regular English. Nice developer. Hey, Toast. Hey, Peromicus. Welcome to the stream. So I didn't even notice. Look how veiny that guy's hand is. Whew. By the way, I didn't even know this was a thing. But girls apparently really like veiny hands. Like, I'm, I'll be sitting there with my girlfriend. And, well, my hands are very veiny right now. It's better after I work out. But, like... She'll just, like, stare at the veins in my hand and, and start, like, you can, like, see her, like, salivating. <sighs> veins. Ve okay, is she gonna puncture the veins? Like, and, and suck my, like, is that a, do women do that? Hey, Shay. Bye, Shay. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Good luck on your finals. No gossip. All right. Bye, buddy. Let's go. All right. What's poppin'? I need some clothes for the naked man. Oh, wait. There was this troll guy up here. Alright, let's save. Maybe this guy's a nice guy. We'll see. He seems like a... He seems... He seems like a good party member. I wonder if we can recruit him. What the fuck am I even looking at? This is... <laughs> this is average short guy after one day in the gym. <laughs> Uh, seriously, I... <laughs> they literally touch a piece of gym equipment and it's just whoop, muscles everywhere. Um, I bet if I was a little more consistent, I could get more, but like, this is probably the best I'll ever get. It's okay. After I become a dad, eventually, I'll just get the dad strength, and that's my current workout plan. I remember people got mad when their Snickers bar didn't have the vein. Yeah, see, I'm telling you, that was all women. Women like veins. That's a thing. Like, I, I don't know. Like, maybe, maybe it's just, like, the blue. They're like, oh, this guy's got blue in him? Like, whoa, he's kind of exotic. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Go ask your local woman. Uh, yeah, let's tussle. This guy's fucked up. What is wrong with this guy? Let's kill him. See, I'm, hey, look. It's nothing, it's not racism. I am simply role-playing as a medieval man. And a medieval man would be racist. Look, it's not me. I am role-playing. Okay? That's all we're doing here. It's just roleplay. Now let's kill the weird looking um, hunchback guy. This guy doesn't even have armor. Why did I just do the armor piercing attack? Okay, we just killed a poor disabled man. Five crowns worth! Thou art mighty, I should join thee. Oh, yes! 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 <laughs> I, I literally called it, didn't I? We went up to this guy, said, oh, you make a good party member. Boom, we got him. In the tall grass, I found a ring of a beggar. Really? Sweet. Awesome. I love secrets. All right. They secretly want to bang the blue people from Avatar. Can't blame them, to be honest. I'll ask my girlfriend about that. I, I wonder if that is a fantasy. A path goes through the forest here. Into the forest, the path goes. At the end of the path, forest is no more. What? What are the mar... mar haggled... What a yapper. <laughs> yapper? It was, it, is that some medieval slang that has come back into use? Yapper? I actually don't know. But I know that yapper is kind of like a modern... It, it is Quasimodo, isn't it? I like him. Forest, forest. Path, forest. Forest into the path. I wonder if we can get into the town with our drunkard friend. 
I feel like he's a very convincing looking guy. Ah, falling. No, no, no. just a guy. He didn't deserve... Maybe he went downstream. Maybe he got stuck on some rocks. Oh, God. Where does this river go? <laughs> we have to reload. We have to. Where, where was my last save? We have to reload. I don't care where the hell we were. I don't care what was going on. We have to reload. Where am I? Okay. I'm, we have to reload. I'm sorry, guys. I can't go on without my without my friend. <laughs> Don't worry, Buttman will save him. Buttman? You mean Pisshead? Pisshead is gone. He stole my money and left. All right, good. Okay, we have the drunkard now. Okay. Okay. Do not go to the town. He will slip on the bridge. Okay. Okay. We've got this. Okay. So here, I went to the, to the Rock Hill, ugly, piss stain, repugnant, ugly Rock Hill. So it was cursed. The whole place, ghostly figure, which revert the, the... Truly inspiring. I really like this guy, and I do not want to lose him. We need to use him in combat. He will help us drive out the Hussites. This music does not fit the vibe of the scene at all. We are at a look. That was like a dramatic zoom in intro. It's like an explosion just happened here. And then it's like. Boom, 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 chicka, boom, boom, chicka, boom, boom, chicka, so many memorable characters to keep track of. Yeah, there is. Right there. Behold, there lies a body choked on smoke. That's the logical. Not was killed in the explosion. Choked on smoke. Yeah. Turk. He seems to be... No, not from here. Not from here. Well, something strange is afoot here. Turks have no place here on the north. Spy, perhaps. Can we, can we loot him? No, I guess not. Verily, what a sweet scent doth fill the air. It brings back to mind a dreamed ecstasy of sweet Teresa. What? Is he telling us about a, dr a lucid dream he had? What if that's the vibe of the place? Hmm. What do you mean by that, Burdan? I mean, like, this castle is just kind of like a funky, like, chill kind of like. You know, it's such one of those castles where you just want to vibe, you know, and you're like, oh, yeah, this is me. I'm in a castle. Oh, yeah. And I chew on a coin. Mm, yeah. What did they, did they have, like, cigarettes or something back in the day? Um, what did they, like, did they smoke? What did they do back in the day? They like, a herb pipe? Oh, yeah. I play my clarinet? No, uh, uh. Anyways, is that what you're talking about? Like one of those, it's like one of these hippie castles. Like this could be a hippie castle with this kind of music. That's what you're talking about. By my troth, I wager the devil hath dream of beautiful saints every night. Forsooth, this scent doth remind me of a plump maid from the hamlet. So the smell of explosions reminds them of a sexy women. These guys are very demented. There's something in the water. Yeah, local drunks and cultists meeting up in an old ruin. This is an old ruin? I thought this was where the explosion was. It's not an old ruin. This is a very new ruin. But that said, yeah, drunks and occultists meeting up. You know, it is kind of funky. It's kind of hippie. All right. Okay, I get the vibes. I'm feeling it more now. A cool murder mystery. Totally rad. Four kids. Yeah, this is definitely also murder mystery kind of music. But look here. What's beyond... What beyond... beyond is, that, is that a bean? Is that a... Harkavol, partake not of that seed, for what if it be poisonous? Pavol, eat the fucking seed. Eat it. It's a magic bean. Nay, fret not, I do but show it unto the Lord, for he hath fondness for oriental flora. You cannot say oriental, Pavol. That is, that's a cancelled word. This, Pavol, you're gonna go, Pavol, you're gonna get your, um, Town Square app revoked. A Town Square, uh, 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 
crier. You're gonna get your town crier revoked. I, I tried. Cool, I got a strange seed. And what purpose does this curious metallic contraption serve? I beheld something akin where diabolical melodies were played. I don't know what this is, but it looks cool. He thinks Lucifer himself this bestow the sub Lucifer did this. Ye speakest folly, but something wicked doth brew here. We must forthwith inform our lord. Let us away, for I sense malevolent spirits here. Nope, we're gonna explore the malevolent spirits. I'm sorry. Oh, I can't. But we have our drunk we have our drunkard with us. He'll protect us. Oh man. Matesh is kind of a buzzkill. Yeah, I agree. Charlatan, we must clear this place. What if some interloper should come snoop around? Oh. Uh, hey guys. They are not even looking at me. They are looking away from me. That kind of kills my immersion. Matej, arms! Okay. Look, see, we have Numbnut. We're gonna be fine. See, Numbnut, 120 HP. We're good. I'm not even worried about this fight at all. Alright. Oh, there are cultists. Buridan, have you played this game before? Alright, and um, just focus in on... What do you have? Right hook? Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, he only hits himself with the right hook. Okay. That is um, questionably useful. Okay. Okay. Why is his... What? Why did Numnut attack with his sword? He doesn't have a sword. Developer! That's some oversight, buckaroo. My immersion is ruined! Numnut wouldn't attack with a sword. He'd get there and be like, yeah! You know? That's my numnut. I really don't want numnut to die, and I feel like he will die if I don't use blessing. Good. Stunned. Perfect. Whoa. <laughs> that was beautiful. I really like that sound effect. That was awesome. Also, this gave me, like, bonus HP. This is epic. Alright, sweet. Numbnut? That wasn't a word in the past. You're right! Holy shit. Hermonkus, you're so right. My immersion is ruined. This game is a good mi it's, it's considered a mix of past and present. Um, but I feel like if it's going to be a mix of past and present, please just use modern English. Please! It's really hard to follow some of the dialogue in this game. This game is set at least 30 years ago. <laughs> at least. Yeah, at least 30 years. Dullards, you thought to best us. Thou needs not have been so brutal. With slit throats, they shall revel not unto us. Okay. Oh, I did. He was a young guy that we have murdered. That's uh, it's too bad. Well, if only they had one of. The, if they only they had a drunkard of their own, they would have been okay. So, really, their mistake. All right, let's save. I'm really worried about losing Numbnut again. I gotta be careful where I take him. I don't want him to slip again on accident. Okay. Oh, there's a shirt over here. Yep, free shirt. Sweet. Okay, maybe one of these other guys can, uh... Okay, I can't even equip the drunker with anything. That's probably fair. My head can is that it's set in modern-day France. <laughs> really base for that. But all, I'm afraid this place is not yet finished in the demo. So, we should let me peek in. Uh... Uh, What? Is this an underground, like, DJ club? Nightclub? What the f what the hell? What the hell? Let this person will find out something crucial in the full release. This will be a part of a profound side quest. It's gonna be a cool side quest. All right, here's 50 crowns. Oh, thanks. No. Nope. I'm not leaving. Let me in. Damn it. Fine. Okay. That was a weird fourth wall break in the demo. I'm I'm not I'm kind of, I'm not entirely sure what the mood of the game is supposed to be. Like is it a kind of a, like a fourth wall breaking like quirky combo of medieval times and modern times game or is it kind of a full on medieval game? Like it's, there's a very there's a bit of conflicting vibes going on here. It's kind of, it's cool. 
Like, I think it's interesting, but definitely conflicting vibes. Ooh. Hey, we're back home. Sweet. Hey, I brought a drunkard. Can you come in? I do not... We are not walking over that bridge with the drunkard. Password. Oh, shit. Definitely yeasty water. Okay. Well, shit. Oh, this isn't even my castle. Sorry, I... I thought this was my castle. Okay. I'm gonna save, and then I'm gonna walk over the bridge. I really do not trust Numbnut on this bridge. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. He just can't be trusted on bridges, can he? Alright, fine. I'll go a different way. We gotta keep our drunkard safe. Okay, we'll go this way. No, that's also a bridge. Fuck. Is there any way? There's not. Actually, there's no way to progress in the game with him. Is there? There's no way to progress. I, we have to let him die. Because everything gets cut off by the bridge. It's really sad. It's really sad. I like him. Is this a house site? Oh, sweet. Uh, I am very scared of the fiend. I do not want the fiend attacking me. The music in this game is so good. I feel like we are going to die. We are definitely not going to make it through this fight in one piece. This is bad. Oh. Oh boy. Ow. Okay, all right, it's all right. We have this, and we will revive Matej. It's all good. It's all good. Ooh, look at that effect. That was sweet. Okay, thanks. I really appreciate you. Okay. Um. Oh boy. Um. Definitely get an attack in here. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's bad. Ooh, we're good. All right, then we'll revive this guy. <laughs> we're good. We're we're so we're so good. Okay, he is now dead. Okay, um, that's fine. I don't think we need him to finish this fight. We should be okay. Nope, that's not good. Okay, it's bad. We're definitely now going to need to revive him. Yeah. Okay, the game has gotten surprisingly more difficult. Um. Wow, uh, wow, okay. Can I damage this guy? He is still alive. Oh no. Um. What's happened? The game just got so difficult out of nowhere. Um. Okay, uh, uh, uh. attack him before you die. This fucking fiend is so strong. Oh, my Tej is good. He's still alive. Okay. I'm like, I'm fully locked in on this fight right now, guys. This is, this is absurdly difficult for no reason. Oh my god, I this. Oh boy. Okay. Lock in. I hate how prevalent missing is in this game. It's very made me very angry and unhappy. Yes! Okay. We're good. We're good. Okay, we're good. Mate it's fine. It's fine. Matej is good. I take back everything I said about not using uh, items. That did six damage. Uh-oh. Oh, this is... I... This is bad. We may not be able to kill this guy. 
Um, no, we're good. We're good. We're, we're gonna. We'll eventually just slash through his armor. It's okay. I think I'm going to use literally every single consumable in this fight. I cannot believe how difficult this fight is. But also, I'm just slightly stupid. And probably could have uh, approached this a little bit better. I needed to use armor piercing on this guy over here. Jesus, this guy's just sunlocking me. It's insane. Why can't he just use infinite sunlock? The man in armor does indeed have a lot of armor. I did do a slight miscalculation there in my attacks, but it's alright. We're just gonna slowly ship through it. We're all good. Okay, that hurts. Just assume he'll attack Pavol. Damn it. Fuck. Okay. It's fine. Just just keep slashing at him. <laughs> why am I healing? Why is my why am I healing? What do I have equipped that heals me? Is it a piece of jewelry? This is awful. This is awful. <laughs> oh my god. I really fucked up on this one, didn't I? <laughs> wow, so, uh, what have you guys been up to recently? <laughs> Jesus. So it would help to know a little bit evil history, it would seem. Swords against armor does not do very good. This is just, this is an infinite loop. This is, this fight will never end. Uh, so, cra I mean, crazy weather we've been having, guys. Like, it's just, it's nuts out here, you know? Global warming, it's just, um, you know, it's it's warm out there. Kind of like it, though. It's kind of nice out today, and flowers really smell good. Okay, I'm gonna sit back and I'll play with my foot. Ugh. So, um, Rip Matej, man. I mean, I kind of, I mean, that guy kind of sucked. Oh, we did it. Okay, we're good. Seventy-five crowns. Wow, that was just awful. That was really, it's just really bad. Um, no, I don't need to heal, uh, okay, I'm good, we're fine. Sweet, just a fun little detour, let's go back home and, uh, let's, uh, let's heal. Phew, okay, I have learned a valuable lesson from that fight, which is if they are wearing armor, assume that they indeed have armor. That's cool, that's some cool game design, I mean, who, you know, who would have thought that, uh, you know, what they're wearing reflects their status. Can I put more coins in yet? Nope, still, not really, still can't. We have had a hard journey. Alright, we're all good now. Everything's fine. Uh, Alright. What was I doing? Talk to this guy? We ventured forth and on strange doings still afoot. A burnt Turk lay there in a curious musical instrument. Matej suspects it hails from the infernal depths. We think it would be better to summon Adam of Casal hence. Christ does that. Christ to, to basically just fuck, I assume. Turks may have cohorting with some hostile offshoot or the like. I know not. There's scant moment of peace, yet verily, Adam is a stout inquisitor who hath caught many a miscreant in Hungary. Here's a sealed leather. Uh, make haste delivered unto Knight Jansi at the gate that he may speed to Casal forthwith. All right, thanks. I'll be it. I'm familiar. I once heard from town uh, such bitter waters brewed in Persia. What the hell are they talking about? Ahem. Uh, alcoholism, I assume? I am... It's really hard. I'm going to say it again. It is quite difficult indeed to follow the medieval English. Um, and, and, and I am not particularly fond of that choice to write all the game in that. It's probably... I'm probably in the minority there because I'm an idiot. Um, if other people feel differently... Uh, put a comment and chat about it, I suppose. But, uh, I don't know. I'm a big fan of accessibility and making your games more appealing. And, uh, just, it's kind of hard to follow, and I feel like it turns people off. 
Uh, I'm good. I don't actually a mace would be awesome, but I'm I'm good. I don't have that much money yet. All right. Um. Uh, hello. Nay, nay, I am not. He shall be at the outer gate. Okay. But Paula. Oh, his wife's back. Wait a second. What a twist. Okay. Yeah, she's cute, but what the hell is that on her head? Man, I don't know about this one. She seems a little toothy. I have come for ye. I searched everywhere for ye. Cometh home. Should I beg ye on my knees? Ah, that I was lowercase. Girls, uh, girls like proper grammar, Pavol. I think you're kind of screwed on this one. Thou mayest. <coughs> what are you? Thou art still a drunk. Leave me be, thou poor wretch. Oh, so now the alcohol-free arc begins. Well, let me peace. But wish to know where the messenger is. Uh, seek me, he seek ye me. Jancy, is it thee? A fair maiden gave me some wine, but t'was so tired it did rush through me, and told me that I am to meet her in the evening. Here shall we gather. And thou hast a suspicious woman, Polly, a fiend. She had freaking teeth on her hat. Definitely suspicious. Potential fiend. I shall give her a piece of my mind for consorting with messengers. Peace. Stay composed. This is serious. Johnson, you must ascertain what vile purpose that witch doth harbor. Wow. Just, okay. Instead of, alright, I'll quit my alcoholism and then my wife will love me again. We're just going full on misogyny arc. So, I guess even back in the Middle Ages, they were not uh, free from misogyny, doomer, red-pilled content. Tis a pity. I look forward to that rendezvous today. But if thou sayest my life is at stake, then I heed your warning. But I'm not capable of going to the Lord now, as I tremble within, and cold sweat runs down my spine. For not, the mountain must cometh to Muhammad. John C., aren't you living? He's got the shits, guys. Goddamn women. This is what happens when you break up with a woman. God, I hate women. Ugh. What am I talking about? I'm in love. I love women. God, they're... I love one woman. Okay. I live my ward, yet my belly swells as if a hundred worms had wriggle within, and the fever hath taken a hold of me. But I feel somewhat better now, after that spoiled wine did ill upon me. By even tide, you must must needs be in better health. That okay? We need, I need a slight break from the medieval, medieval dialogue. Look at this, this beautiful sun outside. Like, look at my look at this view. Wow, it's the side of a building. You a little over? Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Look how pretty it is out there. It's a nice day. I'm just slowly... My brain is slowly crumbling, trying to comprehend medieval dialogue. Which is not a good sign, because I need to study like crazy for an economics final after this. Lock in. Lock in, Toasty. We're good. It's just some funny words. You got this. You know us well, a week hence. Fairy vanish without a trace. I shall send another in your steed to seek Adam. And you, procure at least some biscuits and a herbal decoction forth wind. Shall I also wipe his rump? I love Pally. Don't be snide. But thus, you still here? You have your orders? Uh, where's the biscuits at? Within the castle, of course. And the herbs are probably the herbalists. Yeah, alright. We are now on a mission to cure this guy from the shits. I love this game. Hey, you, you moved. Why'd you move? Okay, never mind. I'm good. Whatever. I know where all this stuff is. I'm a pro video gamer. Get some herbs. Uh, Lord sent us for herbs. I'm... Um, okay. Thanks. Uh, now I need bread. Will you give me bread? Uh, oh. Hey, babe, here's an ear. Well, thank you anyway. Here, take this moonshine. My godfather would enjoy it with you. Uh, sweet. I didn't even know that was a quest that, um, we were doing. I am probably not paying enough attention. I'm trying really hard, guys. Okay, we take the herbs to the altar? Is that what it said? No? Okay. Um, cook. You're a cook? Biscuit me. I need biscuits. Maybe in the cellar. Try looking in the oven. Oh, see? That's, it was foreshadowing earlier when we interacted with the oven. Ah, there's our biscuits. Sweet. Biscuits. Okay. Well, we got all the stuff. Back to the guy. That was a really epic quest. <laughs> what the hell was the point of that quest? Look at us, what a sorry sight, carrying biscuits for some messenger. Oh, here we go, this is the point of the quest. I agree, this is a sorry sight, Pavol. This is beneath you. 
You are a glorious knight. You should be out there murdering Hussites. I have understand what truly really vexed that. However, now we must keep our heads cool. Endure. All shall be resolved. Ah, uh, this is the hero's journey. At our lowest, we shall um, rise again. I suppose. Here, we got the stuff. All right, Jancy, I hope this herb and biscuit concoction will help your shits and not make it worse. No more whining now. Pay heed to me closely. When Polly's bride arrives, discreetly inquire of her condition, what she does in our domain. Also, ask her of the wine. She may well lie to you, that deceitful wench, but remember all well. We shall follow you. Fear not. Should things take a dire turn, we shall be at close at hand. We suspect she belongs to some band of miscreants. Wow, this is really elevated quickly from... My wife left me because I'm a drunk, too. My wife is an evil witch bastard, and she's going to kill us all, and we gotta kill her first. Now, I wait and feign effect affection. We shall keep watch from the gatehouse. It is a great game. What? How did she appear from inside of the castle? Wasn't she... Didn't she leave? What is going on? How did she get... Did he just shit while walking? Now, after she returned from the castle, he, we saw her depart to four. Oh. Oh! Look, he just commented on the thing I was thinking. It was all intentional game design. Developer, I shouldn't have doubted you. This does not bode well. Nevertheless, let us follow them. <gasps> Is she colluding with the man in the well? Okay, he shit his pants. Walk this is unfortunate for him. Oh, he is not having a good day. Yeah. No? Um, nope, he did not go in. Not the guy in the well. Okay. Into the basement? Secret passage? Nope. Yes? He went into my, he went into my room. Oh, Pally. Thou better not see this. What? This is my room. Let me in. Night, Polly. Truly, stay out. Did, did they... Did they have did they have sex while he was shitting on the bed? Wow. That's... That's... Something. I knew this was a weird, kinky RPG Maker H game. Developer, you're in luck. This game's gonna sell well if you market it as that. Ah, here, see, there we go. Now we can go in the secret passage. Great. Nice. It's all foreshadowing. It all leads into itself. Let our sorcery be this. Tis devil's craft. Silence, both of ye. Pistic, you have been seated here all day. Did you see Jancy passing by? I accompanied by a maiden fair. Well, where they, where they go? Into yon secret passageway. Listen, when I strike here, it doth sound hollow. Hmm, mayhap pressing on this brick. Perchance this one. This one doth seem to bear a different hue. <laughs> Oh, that was cool. I like that. Fistic, why did you not come to me forthwith? When such events take place, I must needs be informed. Oh, I thought this was our comrades arriving. It's been a month since digging here started. Well, on Vaggy, Hollowhead, torture so shall thy doom. <laughs> Let's torture him for not... Okay. <laughs> I actually... This game has a lot of really funny moments and good, good bits. It's just kind of buried within somewhat difficult-to-follow text. I like this game. It's very unique and, and funny, and uh, I don't know, just something about it is very charming. We must locate Jancy with all haste, for my wife is alone with him. Oh, Pavol. You. You definitely need a better woman. Agreed. Let us proceed. And you, Pistic, prepare yourself. What? Sorry, Pistic. It's. That's unfortunate, buddy. <sighs> oh. <gasps> she doth embrace him. By Christ, my wife, doth she seek to cavort with messengers? I shall not abide this affront. I shall rend her asunder like a serpent. Hold him. By the heavens, you dost imperil our scheme. Hi there, this looks awesome. Hey, Bear Mazer, welcome to the stream. Yeah, this game is really, really graphically beautiful. It has a very interesting storyline and really cool combat. Um, lacks sound effects. Like, the music is kind of grating on my ears a little bit. And the dialogue is a little bit hard to follow. But it is a very unique RPG Maker game, and I'm enjoying it um, on the whole. Pally, hold. Pally shall not be held, he shall avenge he shall avenge his honor. Pally, ye harlot, I shall end ye. Dost ye spread your legs here? I shall cleave ye limb from limb by Almighty God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> the good old days when you could kill your wife for cheating on you instead of just having to go through a messy divorce and losing a bunch of money in divorce court. Fruitless is thy effort to pursue me. Desperate wretch, seize him. You are fucked. I... Oh, God, I lost my drunkard. How are we going to beat these cultists? <sighs> Fuck. Okay, we'll do our best. Oh. Oh, that guy... 
That guy is definitely going to kick my ass. He looks very scary. Ah, uh, love, such tender sentiment. Yet her allegiance now lies with us, and thee, it which shall meet thy end in the name of Zervan. Toast is shining. I know, it's God's light shining upon me. God is with us in this battle, gentlemen. Let us kill these bastard cultists who tricked my wife into cheating on me. Um, that guy's chest is... looks, um... Huh. We're good. We're good. Okay. Attack the one with armor. You attack that guy. And... Ooh, I can shoot people? Okay, shield bash this guy. No, wait. Okay, shield bash this guy. Nice, good. Praise the sun. Hallelujah. Okay, we're locked. We got this battle in the bag. You cultists are screwed. You should not mess with us. We are professional warriors. Alright, now that his armor's broken, we should be able to just attack him. Attack him, and then shoot this fucker with a gun. This is what you get for tricking my wife into cheating on me, you bastard. Die. That's right with you. You don't skip chess day. Oh, really? Oh, did you see that? That was awesome. That sound effect was so crisp and nice. It was nice. I like that. Hell yeah. Okay. Now I should be able to get this. Actually, no, I have. Okay. Shield bash this guy. Attack this guy again. Attack this guy again. Okay. I just don't want to bother with him, so let's keep stunning that guy. Come on, guy with armor's got to be close to dying, right? Okay, well, not if you miss. Matej, not if you miss, you bastard. Okay, this is bad. Um... How is he so much health? Okay, we're good. We're locked in here. I mean, look at these combat animations. These are amazing. Ooh, ow, that's not good. And the other guy's back. Nope, we gotta shield bash him. I don't want to deal with him yet. Uh, I need some... Oh, actually, no. You do that. Um, no, wait. Matej, use your blessing. There we go. That was smarter. Oh, you missed. Pavol, you fucker. Oh, good. Okay, we killed one. We're good. It's even, it evens out. It all works out. We're good. We're still locked in. Why am I not... So, in the previous fight, Pavol was healing. He's not doing that anymore. I don't really know what I ate um, to make that happen before, but whatever. Let's just kill this agitator. We're good. This should be an easy fight from here on out if we stop missing every freaking blow. There we go. Okay, we're good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, wife, this way you don't fuck with me. Ooh, nice. All right. Pally, I swear by the Lord, I shall hang thee by the neck, you foul, drunken wretch. Twas you who nearly brought us all to ruin away from my sight. No, we were fine. That was, we had that in the bag. That was such an easy fight. I really am glowing a lot. Wow. There we go. Now you can see me. This shite is beyond me. Oh, Pally. Why did she not restrain Pavol's wife? Well, I, I can barely stand it when they ambushed us. Silence. And you, Matej, come hither and play a game of chess with me to soothe the nerves. <laughs> Joseph is, Joseph's got a bunch of fucking idiots under his command. By the way, my lord, let me just gather what John C. heard before he forgets the details. His mind is addled and his wits barren. Very well, let's arrange the pieces. You can play as white. I'll have some quail prepared so we may dine heartily. Okay. Let's just fucking play chess and eat and forget what just happened. Nay, I told her how sick I was and that I'd been feeling strange. And she persisted in kissing me and bid me not to fear, assuring me that it would pass. She told me to accompany her somewhere, promising that all would be blissful, akin to paradise. She vowed to take care of everything. What? Inquired about the wine, she claimed to have crafted it for me specially, saying it would grant me strength. Devil's harlot. Let us retire for the night. Okay. Well, the wife got away, but at least we killed her companions. That's some amount of revenge. Oh, hell yeah. Here we go. What? This is a royalty-free sound effect, by the way. I use it in my game.
Holly, look alive. What the fuck is that? Oh, good, good attack, Polly. Was Polly really sleeping in the room with the guy's shit all over the floor still? Nice. Okay, it's fine. We should be okay. We can definitely battle an otherworldly demon. My theory is that this is a um, alcohol-induced vision. Damn it, Pebble. You're not supposed to miss those. This is bad. I didn't break his armor. Oh, I just ex I have exceedingly fucked up, actually. Well, now we just uh, spam attack over and over, I guess, and hope to God that we do more damage than he does. It does not look like that is the case. Yeah, I definitely screwed up in this one. Oh, never mind, we're good. Pavol's OP. He's a bro. Nothing can take him down. What the fuck was that? Loathsome entity lies here prostrate. Yeah, I really just slept in the same room with all of their shit on the floor. Wow. Some monstrosity climbed to my window, a fortune that I fell asleep clad in armor. Dost you know that he had slain you after yesterday's affair? I would hardly lament. Wow. Wow. What a dick. By the heavens, forsooth, that creature must have emerged from the very depths of hell. Okay, this game has just got interesting. There's like hell creatures now. May God protect us, but look, it wears Jensi's attire and armor. Is it not him? Verily, he was not in good spirits yesterday. Oh my god. My wife turned him into a monster. That bitch! This was our Jancy. Behold his countenance, and such crooked teeth. Oh, God. It's... Oh, God, Jancy. I thought the heavenly light meant God was with us, but clearly it was a, it was a folly shown by the devil himself. Holy crap, I look terrifying. <laughs> Seems the dry biscuit didn't help. Unfortunately not. This is not the machinations of an impoverished sect, nor even the Hussites. The band that assailed us on Yester Eve were heretics. They invoked a being named Zervan. We are confronted with sorcery of the darkest kind. Surely they did set upon him beneath the Shroud of Night to curse him. This is just... This is a really heartbreaking... It's heartbreaking turn of events. I really like Jancy. Must be which my wife as well. She's a purest maiden. Okay, Pavol. Pavol, you really gotta give up on the wife. I just I just don't I think she's pretty far gone, man. I, he really loves her. That's I, that's sweet, you know? I respect that. God bless him, he has a pure heart. Thus be it, Pistic, come hither. Take this fiend to the ice house. Come tomorrow, Adam shall arrive to us. He's schooled in the halls of learning, hath dissected corpses of plenty. Well and good, and thou too. Venture the town and appraise the burgmaster of our missing folk. A letter I shall pen detailing the urgency of the matter. But come, good fellows, we have yet to breakfast. Let us engage in a game of Ludo during our meal. I think this guy fucking loves board games. Hinder us not, let us pay the burgmaster a visit and perchance sample a morsel at the end, as thou wishest. Fistic, ready the game of Pixesso. And off we go again, the merrily band of fellows. Why is this massive castle only inhabited by, like, seven people? Tis meat, meat, meat incessantly. Well, meat's good. I, I love me some meat. Now let's go pray at the altar. And then let's head out. Nope. Okay, there we go. Alright, we're good. Let's roll out, team. We gotta talk to the Burgmaster. Freaking guy in the well is still in the well. Oh, Tweety! I can buy a mace now! Yes! Come on, give me that mace. Oh, yeah. That's what I needed. Alright. Now nothing can defeat us. We can cleave a man even in fully clad in armor. Pavol is out on the town, ready to murder everyone who tricked his wife into cheating on him or whatever. Clearly, it was everyone else's fault. Not his wife's. The secret passage? Oh, wait a second, you're right. What is in the secret passage? Wait, first I want to see if this is unlocked yet. No, it's still locked. Yeah, alright, thanks for the reminder, Bird, and let's go check out the secret passage. 
Good lord, the art's fantastic. But it's bizarre. Yeah, this game is very bizarre. I'm not entirely sure what's going on in the game. It's a bit all over the place. It seems like a bit of a mystery kind of game. There's some cult brewing or something. Uh, but yeah, the art is really pretty. I wish there were just some more sound effects, and then I'd be really, really engaged with it. That's really my, like, I only complain about the game so far, is the sound effects, and maybe the, um, characters blending into the background a little, but otherwise it's really fantastic. Especially, like, the layering of the, of the, the building, like, it, it's just gorgeous looking inside. Anything else to say, by the way? Tell the Lord Pixesso is ready. Um, okay. I'll go tell him. Is this an actual quest, or is that just kind of filler dialogue that's wasting my time? Uh, okay. It was filler dialogue that did nothing. Baron, hello, welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping by. Alright. Also, can you even see my face at all, or is just the heavenly light of the outdoors, beautiful spring weather completely obscured my face? Oh, we set up a new guard down here? Good, I guard this place so that no more scoundrels manage for our keep. Good, good. We don't want any more wretches sneaking in and turning our minfolk into beasts. Ooh. They, they killed him. I'm afraid he had to change his opinion. Poor guy. Man, my wife's just out killing men left and right. Ooh. Someone pillaged... Damn it, they pillaged it before I could get here. I was gonna pillage it. Bastards. A petard. Huh? What is a petard? Um. Petard. Oh, it's the explosion! <gasps> well, we can go to the well. We, well, I remember we talked about tard earlier. Sorry, I have short memory loss. Alright, here we go. Okay, so for those of you who were not here earlier in the uh, stream... For those of you who were not here earlier in the stream, we found a man in a well by repeatedly throwing coins at his head, and then it turned out he was a water spirit. And now I'm going to go throw an explosion at him. I'm going to throw a bomb at him. Um, and see what happens. Let's see. Okay. We gave him a chance. Give him one more chance. All right. We gave him a chance to come out, but, uh... Too bad, Water Spirit. You had a cool gun. You had a cool run. It's cool. I like this game's portrait lighting. Yeah, I, I just, I really like the art in this game. It's just, it's absolutely fantastic. And I like the little, like, secret, Jesus, I like the little secret things that can happen. Um, like this cool little side adventure with the guy in the well. It's very cool. Here, catch. I wish there was some little effect, though, when you threw that in. That'd be really cool. I mean, clearly this developer is very talented artistically, like, why can't you just add that little touch of something being thrown into the well? Like, would it really add another layer of immersion? It would really help. Like, maybe, okay, once you put this game out on Steam, I'm not sure if you're going to charge for it or not, developer, but you put this game out on Steam, you make, you set a little price tag, after you get some money, you know, then you can go back and add some of those things. I'm not quite sure how you want to go about it, but I think it'd be really cool to add some little details like that. Hey, look what floated here. Some wondrous thing. Sanctifier. Okay, I murdered the man in the well, and I got holy water. Plus one attack, plus one tools, plus seven life. Oh, fuck yeah. Was that something I should have used in combat? No, yeah, it was a bomb. Sorry, Iron Brew. It's okay, there's there's too many words that are medieval-y and confusing. Alright, but sweet. We have now murdered a man in a well and uh, improved our stats worth all right now off to town we go to uh, inform of, of my wife turning people into monsters also i just realized oh oh maybe this is what the clothes oh oh i did forget to bring him clothes that is unfortunate there's no naked man here yesterday truly the town folk is going insane yeah uh yeah, earlier there was a naked guy here, and he wanted me to bring him some clothes, and I found clothes, but I totally forgot about him completely, and it would seem that um, he has died of hypothermia. That is unfortunate for him. Bring the Burgmaster lives in the middle of the town. All right, thanks, man. I appreciate that. We're grateful thou hath played the demo. Make sure to let us know what to improve. Oh, 
Replay if you wish or do not. I need sleep. Oh, that's it. Okay, is there anything else to explore? Uh, sorry everyone. Hey, Blambeard, welcome to the game. Hey, welcome to the stream. Uh, sorry everyone who just showed up. I guess we've just about reached the end of the demo here. His name was Butt Naked Man. I'm oh, sorry, I won't let his name die. Butt Naked Man. Oh, wait. There's something going on over here. The hell is this? What are you trembling for? Everything will be horrid forever everywhere. Oh, okay. Good wine? Misfortune hath befallen me. Pray tell. Hath ye cow gone mad? Nay, worse it be, for a whole year I gathered planks to build a bridge beyond the village. Yet someone did covet those planks. The bridge dismantled, and who knoweth what fate befell it? Aw, oh, poor guy. I came here for the toasty touches. Oh. Oh, uh, you want to be touched by the light of God? Ah! Hey, tickle, tickle. What the fuck am I doing? <sighs> I'm only touching you if you become a member. Uh, so, uh... Cosmas and Feels Icy Man. If you're still here, this touch is for you. Thanks for becoming members. Aww. <laughs> Alright. You look familiar. Ye do not. Okay. So we tend to kettle together. Be gone at once. I have tasks aplenty. Bother me not, for I must... Why does a farmer have a gun? I'll have with the devil's smiter. I'll be tamed somehow. Perhaps given a drought for calming. The hat keeps hollering at me as if we're guilty of all sins. Poor guy. I... Believe me, I know about the nagging wife. Oh, wow, I feel special. Now I'll become a member on payday. Uh, well, thanks, Blambeard. I, I appreciate it if you do, but don't feel any pressure to. Heard Hussites raided our Jew? What, like the local Jew that we just keep around for diversity? <laughs> they, they raided our Jew? Or is this some term that I don't understand? <laughs> he lives outside the town, so the guards could not help him. Oh... No, did they kill the naked man? Also, they say some thieves came to this domain. Do not look at me as if I was dull. I know that stealing from a common crime anywhere. But this bunch is truly brave. We'll come to your house and rob you in the light of day. And before you know it, they are gone. All right, cool. Sounds like there's still some more stuff to do in the demo before we end it. This game is one of those mom says we have Diablo at home kind of games. Not, not really. I mean, sort of. Sort of. I mean, I don't, have you, Rathwood, have you been around long enough to see any of the combat? It's really, the combat is really sweet. The animations are awesome. The, the setting is... Okay, the art, yeah. The art is fantastic. It's really gorgeous. It's very polished up. It's really nice looking. There's also a lot of minor polish issues that keep me from being fully invested in the game. Like, I've been repeating myself the whole stream, but the sound effects need a little bit more polishing out. The dialogue is really hard to follow at some point, but that might just be me being a dumb American. Um, that's really my only complaint. Otherwise, the game's pretty awesome, and I like the storyline. I like what's going on in it. Um, but the game's honestly pretty unique. And the storyline feels pretty unique, too, and I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's like a murder mystery kind of deal. Who cleaned up the place? Who came here to clean it up? The cultists? Oh, whatever. There was an explosion here at the start of the game, and that... By the way, the explosion didn't really play a big part in the storyline at all. Maybe the cultists did the explosion? Like, it seemed like there were cultists gathering over here, right? It just didn't really go in super in-depth in it in the demo, so I hope in the full release we hear more about the uh, explosion. This BVP on Diablo 1 sh shareware version. Dr. Robotnik laughter intensifies. I am too young to know anything about Diablo. I'm very sorry, everyone. I tried to pretend like I knew anything about it, but I lied. And I sincerely apologize for that. Um, do you think they'll let me into the town now? No, I'm just permanently locked out. Okay. I wonder if I can reload and try to, one, get into this castle, and two... Um, get the naked man his clothes. I think I want to load an older save and see if I can accomplish those things. But for now, we have finished the demo. Let's go see if we can do a couple of the side things. So let's see, it was probably back around here. No, I gotta go a little bit further back. Um, maybe this one? Okay, is the naked man still around in this one? Yeah, he is. Okay, let's go grab his clothes real quick. It's like a Kingdom Come Deliverance from 2004. Thank you for putting it into modern words. I appreciate it. Actually helpful. I love Kingdom Come Deliverance. It's one of my favorite games. Okay, we got some clothes. Now let's go put them on this guy. So Diablo must have been pretty good then. I feel like I need to play these old games. Like, I feel like I'm not allowed to be an RPG reviewer if I don't even know the classics. 
Sorry, guys. All right, naked guy, here's some clothes. We have a spare tunic. Well, they have a tunic more than we can find use for. May it serve thee well, good elder. My thanks to you. My wife would have aided me for months if I came back like this. So I'm going to mock me. Here, take this helmet I stumbled upon while waiting for you. Matej, take it. We'll fit you for sure. Okay. So that wasn't like a super crazy side quest, but, um, well, it was kind of sweet. A nice little side thing. Cool. Um, what was the other thing I was going to try and do? Oh, yeah. Get into the castle. Let's see about that. We're going to make it happen. I, I promise. Believe in me. All right. We just got to guess the password. All right. Okay. It was not yeasty water. Maybe it's butter. It is not butter. Okay. Maybe it is the middle one. That's the only one left. Okay. It was none of them. Okay. Um, then it would appear that we have truly done all that the demo has to offer, unless there's some guy hiding around here who can tell me the password. I have no idea who that would be, though. That's all right. We'll call it. I'm so sorry, everybody who just got to the stream. Um, but uh, wow, I need to. I'm gonna bring you guys over here so you can kind of see my face. Love the title screen music. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, um, everyone who just got here, thanks for stopping by. I'm sorry uh, you joined right as the stream was getting close to ending. Uh, but uh, this game is only about an hour or so long. I asked the developer about it, and I figured that'd be all right. Um, and it was. This is a pretty solid stream. Um, so I do have a couple of things. Here, let me turn this music off so we can focus up on my uh, awesome expositional moment here. Okay. I just won the game. Mm-hmm. There you go. I'm a, I'm a professional Felvedic player. Um, so, okay, I talked to the developer. This was about 20% of the actual game. The actual game's releasing in about two weeks. Um, it's got some really cool cinematics, and if you see the trailer for this game, by the way, it looks like some really polished stuff. Um, hopefully in the final version, the developer has a bit more sound effects. Um, that was really my biggest critique. Um, and maybe the old English is dialed back just a tad, so it's easier to engage with. But, I don't know, I'm sure that there's an audience for people that are really into that... Uh, medieval english type stuff and would happily play the game and it might just be my preference that i'm that i'm not personally into it but that's all good um let's see what else was i going to say oh yeah okay so i was i was thinking of a new content strategy and how i'm going to be doing stuff in the future and what i was thinking of is that i'm going to try to do a at least one stream a month maybe two and um every stream that i do i am then going to take clips from that into, into youtube shorts and then I'm also going to take the game that I played and turn it into a main channel video, like a short, like four to five minute long video. And so that way I have a really good content loop every single month. Um, and then it's a small enough um, dedication to making content that I can also focus um, on maybe some other stuff going on in my life, whether it's a job or um, work on a bigger project in the background. And so I can do things like this so I can keep content going, um, but also fulfill my other life obligations and so that's probably what's going to be going on in the future and so expect at least a stream a month um and i hope you guys will be around for them i have a lot of fun doing these even when there's less people around i enjoy just taking a moment to chill and play a game and i don't have enough I, you know i don't do that enough um these days so that's nice um felvedic let's talk about it a little bit i think that this game has a lot of potential and i think the finished product is going to be really really cool and it's going to be an interesting rpg maker game um I do think um, the barrier to entry is a little bit high because of things I've already said, like the dialogue being very intensely Old English, and I think that will limit the reach the game can have. There's already a really good following on Twitter, so I'm not saying this you know, this game is going to be more successful than a lot of RPG Maker games already just based on the graphical style. It's already going to get a lot of people into it. Uh, but just being honest i mean looking at the dialogue um and some of the the lack of sound effects you know the, the immersion isn't fully there um and it's a little bit hard to follow at some points and i feel like that might hinder the game's success but i do think that this game's going to do well for rpg maker games and i think it's a very interesting concept and i love the art style it's very very pretty um and i it was fun playing it and just kind of getting into the world and seeing what's going on and pally's an interesting character so i enjoyed this one and it does make me want to play more rpg maker games uh, the current plan is just to play RPG Maker games I enjoy. Uh, and there's a good number of them. I have quite a few lined up, and I'm excited to get into them. 
Um, and feel free to send me some uh, to my email, toasty.rpgtime at gmail.com, if you think of any that I might enjoy. Um, but that's it for today. It wasn't a super long stream, but I had fun. And uh, you all have a great rest of your day. Get out there and enjoy the weather. If it's sunny where you are, I know I will. Um, and then it's off to grinding for my finals. So wish me luck. Uh, have a good one, everybody, and thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye. appreciate it. Ciao.